How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to use your Android phone as a remote for your Chromecast. Um, pretty simple. Um, I'm going to demonstrate a couple of apps here just to kind of show you how it works. Again, the, the phone just ends up being a remote, so you can pick certain things you want to play, and it'll send it to the TV, but you can still use your phone even in the midst of you uh, using it to control the Chromecast. So, for example, if there's a show playing like Netflix, if you have a video playing, you can still take calls, send text messages, do all that without interfering with what you're sending. So, let's go ahead and get started. All you have to do is make sure your Chromecast is turned on. And connect to Wi-Fi. Also, make sure that your cell phone is also connected to Wi-Fi. See, so you have the Wi-Fi signal right here. If your phone is not connected to a Wi-Fi, this will not work properly. So make sure it is connected. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, Netflix. And if you notice up here in the corner, there's a symbol. This is the Chromecast symbol. This is how you send things to Chromecast. So we're going to tap that symbol. Now, right now. Chromecast was already selected, so I need to. I just turned it off. I'm going to show you how to turn it on. So tap the signal, and it says where to play. You want to tap Chromecast. Now, my Chromecast is named Bedroom Chromecast. Yours, you probably named it something different. That name will show up here, and just tap it. Chromecast will then switch to the Netflix app, and then it will wait for you to pick a show to play. So I'm going to go ahead and play this Magic School Bus episode, but this is how it looks right before you start. So we're going to tap there, and it will begin to play. See that? And while it plays, I can close the Netflix app. I can do other things on my phone while it does play. So that's the cool part. You can take calls, you can text, whatever, and... You know, you don't have to worry about it showing up on your screen there, okay? So, now I'm going to go back to go to Netflix. You can control the volume from here as well. So, our volume is... Where is our volume? Let's turn it sideways. There we go. So, we can pull our volume down here. You can also use the remote for your TV to control the volume as well. And then we want to stop, we can just hit pause. You can also just tap the Chromecast icon, and then you're going to tap this device, and then um, it will stop um, sending the content. Okay. Now, next, I'm going to show uh, Pandora. So I'm going to go to the Pandora app here. And we're gonna look for the same icon, which is the Chromecast symbol. Skip advertisement. Chromecast icon at the bottom. We're gonna tap it. We're gonna tap bedroom Chromecast. The TV will switch to a Chromecast uh, interface for Pandora. I'm actually gonna change. So I can actually go in, change the station here. Let's go to our Tevin Campbell station. See that? Kind of cool. I can again close this, do other things. I can even walk out of the room, it'll continue to play. And now I'm going to go back to Pandora. And I'm going to pause it. If I want to un unconnect it, or disconnect it, excuse me, I'm going to tap Chromecast icon. And, and in Pandora, you have to tap disconnect. So some apps work a little different than others. And then um, the Chromecast will go back to its home screen and then you're done. Now I'm going to also show real quick uh, YouTube and I'm going to show Hulu. I want to go back to Netflix. Okay. Sorry guys. Alright, let's go show YouTube. And there's our Chromecast icon right there. Why do I keep doing that? Sorry about that guys. All right, YouTube, we're gonna tap our Chromecast icon, tap bedroom, it is ready. This is the latest video from Ask the Android Guy, Galaxy Gear versus Sony Smartwatch. So I could just tap this video and hit play, and then it will play right on the TV. There it is. 
I can again control the volume. Hello, this is R I C K Y. So see that? The Android guy. Hey guys. It is a little bit of a delay with the volume, but it will do that. Then I can pause it. And uh, even while it's playing, I can look through and pick other videos if I wanted to. And then I can even again close the app, do other things, come back to it, and then tap the icon here, tap disconnect, and it will go back to the home screen. Did you know salespeople spend 59% of their time not selling? We pause that. And then lastly, I wanted to show you Hulu. So we open up Hulu. Tap our Chromecast icon. We're going to switch to Bedroom Chromecast. And then it will switch to the Hulu interface. And again, I can just pick a show. Let's play SpongeBob real quick. Let's see that. We'll begin to play. And then I can tap there, go back to this screen, and it's done. So. Um, again, your your phone basically acts just as the remote for it, so it controls it, but again, you can use the phone to do other things while it is casting. That's one of the coolest parts about this. Now, I've been a big fan of Apple TV for years because Apple TV kind of lets you do the same thing and lets you mirror your whole screen, but the problem is when something is being sent to the TV, you really can't do other things because it stops the feed. This way, it doesn't stop the feed. The feed will continue to send while you do other things on your device. So, um, there there are other apps I just wanted to show off these couple just so you can get a general gist of how it works. Any app that shows the Chromecast icon will let you send your screen uh, to Chromecast and play it. So that's pretty much how it works. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video as well as subscribe to HG Tech videos and follow us on, uh, excuse me, like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash H2Tech videos. Take care and thanks for watching and have a good one.